Our family is wrapping up a three-week, 11-flight trip in Southeast Asia, beginning with Singapore. As we documented in another recent episode, our first flight into Changi Airport was on United Airlines. But on our way back through, we're booked on Singapore Air, and we're curious to see just how these two airlines stack up. As premier 1K flyers, United definitely has our loyalty, but everything we've heard about Singapore's flight experience has us wondering if there's a better way to travel into and out of Asia. So let's get checked in and check it out. Checking in for our first flight, and with us having United status, it is not totally clear to me if that status transfers over to Singapore Airlines with them being in the Star Alliance program. So if you know the answer to that, comment below, because I'm not sure which line we should stand in. I don't think it matters since there's no line. Right. <laughs> Well, we went through, but come to think of it, I am pretty sure we can use the uh, like business class lounge because we ran into this. Where were we last? Like probably Europe. Yeah, I don't know, somewhere in Croatia or I don't know. Anyway, I think we went into economy, and when we went when we got to the front, they were like, "Oh, you know, you can use the business class line or the yeah. first class line." And when we checked in, she gave us four passes to their lounge. It's not the Singapore Airlines lounge; it's Plaza Premium Lounge. So we're gonna see what that's all about. I get to have one last piece of my favorite dessert here in the Philippines, Biko. I'm probably not pronouncing it right, so let me know, but it's so good. It's basically glutinous rice, and it's kind of sweet, and it has a coconut taste too, and I love it so much. Mmm, I love it. This lounge is not quite an American Express Centurion lounge, but it's not bad considering where we are and that we got in here for free. It's still got a complete bar. It's very nice, new, clean, and modern. And they've even got a little food station. So enough stuff to like eat before we get on the flight. So no complaints. And good free internet. By the way, I'm taking over always be changing now. So for now on, everything that they accomplish, I accomplish. I'm actually really excited to try Singapore Airlines. I want to thank everyone who commented on our last flight episode. So many of you were like, you got to try Singapore Airlines. And now we are. We actually have to go through immigration before we get to our gate. That's nice. It's out of the way. We don't have to do it when we land. It's actually a very cool terminal. I like the architecture that they have in here. It almost looks temporary. You've got the particle board on the ceilings and it looks like two by four studying. So it's just a very unusual kind of industrial feel to it. And this is actually all brand new in this particular area. The airport itself isn't even very old. And in fact, it was originally built by the US Air Force in the 50s to serve as an emergency airfield for the Strategic Air Command's bombers. And it was a big outpost for C-130s during the Vietnam War. Interesting tidbit, I was a crew chief on 130s in the Air Force. And it looks like it's time to board. All right, let's see what this Singapore airline is all about. I wonder if our seats are going to be made of gold and sort of caviar. Here. Well, the first class seats, they look like they could have been made of gold. Uh, they look a little bit similar to the Polaris seats on United. They might lay flat. Well, we're just in normal economy here, and everything looks very brand new. It's clean. It's nice. It's not fancy. Uh, it has a totally different, sleek, more modern look than United. I would say United is more of a Cadillac, maybe, and this with the darker plastics and everything is more of a, an Acura NSX. That was very specific. <laughs> I would say, I would add that uh, the economy seats in Singapore Airlines are very similar to Economy Plus on United because of the pitch, which is the difference between this seat and that seat, the distance, and the width of the seats. But actually, this feels wider, to be honest. These are a plenty of room, and honestly, it smells new. It has that new car smell, new airplane. Yeah, not new like a leather interior Mercedes, but more like a cloth interior Audi. <laughs> You're killing me with those. Oh. On this TV, we have a touch screen, which doesn't make a TV, it's an iPad. Yeah, it's a really nice setup here, entertainment system. And the carpet even looks brand new and clean. I feel like this is a brand new airplane. It's probably the first time it's flown. So many movies to choose from. News. No idea what's going on in the world for the past three weeks. 
Well, I can't believe it. We're gonna be leaving the Philippines any minute now, and I'm really gonna miss it. This was an incredible adventure for us. We loved every single destination we went to. So we are gonna miss the Philippines, but I am excited to be back in Singapore, even just for a little bit, for a couple of hours, really, um, because we love Singapore as well. Really love Southeast Asia, and there's so much for us to come back to. It definitely gives me a lot of peace of mind to have everything be so new and so clean. It just looks safe. Also, the flight crew look outstanding. Little airline provided earbuds are way better than United's. The flight attendant just dropped off something from Brooklyn, a different set of headphones. Probably better for kids so they don't fall off. And Brooklyn, what else did you get? It says it's Ben <laughs> You know what that is? That's Cat's Cradle or something like that. I remember I used to play that when I was a kid. I'll have to teach her how to use it. Let's check the recline. That's pretty good for economy. Yummy, it's dinner time. And I got prawns, noodles, and fish cake. Ooh, yeah, we have a lot of silverware here. We have four to choose from. This is probably for tea, because we do have a little tea cup. A uh, little tiny knife, look how cute and short it is. A spoon and a fork. I just need this guy. Shrimp, prawns, right here, and then this is a fish cake. Oh, and he said it was spicy. Usually when they say it's spicy on an airplane, it's not spicy, but it does have a bit of a kick. That's pretty good. Fresh little peanuts and stuff on top. It's not bad, honestly. I think that the food on the airplanes in the US are terrible. Really not edible sometimes, but this, it's great. I can eat it, I am eating it. We also had a dinner roll, and this is our dessert. Just some kind of a pastry, like a, Ooh, chocolate. I'm gonna have to taste it to find out what it is. Honestly, it's kind of like a bread pudding on top of some chocolate, maybe. And just for variety's sake, so we can give you the full spectrum, I got the alternate meal, which is a chicken breast. Looks like it's got a gravy on top, potatoes, some carrots, some broccoli, and some rice pilaf. It's really good gravy. And the chicken breast is um, perfectly fine. Not dry. It's a tough one to do in an airplane environment. Hello, my sweet. In it. This is like a big chunk of an apple. So it might be like a little apple cake with um, chocolate on the bottom. So I wonder if they're doing a tea service or something because we have the tea cup, like I mentioned, and a little milk for your tea. And that's it. That's your meal on Singapore Airlines. We're about an hour and a half into the flight and I think the design of these seats is starting to show. So it's kind of like a Volkswagen Jetta seat. It's uh, very thin. It's kind of hard. It's certainly not plush. There's not a whole lot of padding to them, so at first they're comfortable. It's a sportier seat, but I could tell that if this was a longer flight, it would get pretty uncomfortable pretty fast. Luckily, we've only got about three and a half hours total on here, so it's gonna be okay. But butt is starting to get a little bit sore. Volkswagen reference, seriously. They just turned our lights out, but I wanna show you that I can easily cross my legs, which is a huge pet peeve of mine, because normally I try to cross my legs when the tray is down and it bumps the tray up and it doesn't really fit. But there's tons of space between my knee and the tray. It's the little things that matter. Just landed at the number one airport in the world and we are super happy to report that we are gonna be staying at the airport hotel, the Crown Plaza Inn. We thought that would be the easiest way to get a little bit of sleep before our flight in the morning. Hey, you know what? All in all, and considering the fact that this was an economy flight, I would consider our first experience with Singapore Airlines to be pretty flawless. The service was impeccable. The plane is new and clean and really no complaints there other than maybe needing a more comfortable seat for a longer flight. Uh, so we'll see how it goes with United tomorrow, but I'm a fan of Singapore Airlines. Double that for me, although it is a late flight. It's almost 11 o'clock, so all of us are pretty tired. Right, Beanie? Thank you, have a good night. It is so sad that our flight here from the States out to Singapore, we got in at 6 a.m. The jewel was closed. It was a beautiful airport, but the waterfall was turned off, so we missed it. Now we come back and we get in too late. 
it's turned off, we're gonna miss it again. So we're just gonna have to come back soon, hopefully. Our luck, we found the hotel pretty quickly because it's in the same terminal we flew into, which is Terminal 3. And I, I wonder what terminal we're gonna fly out of. That'd be great if it was Terminal 3. I love how easy this is. I mean, to get off your plane, get your bags, walk a few feet and get your hotel room. And then in the morning, just walk a few feet and get back on your plane. They just upgraded our room. So we did have one king bed we're gonna squeeze because it's just one night. Now we have two queen beds. It's gonna be much more comfortable for us. You can't get much closer to the airport than that. Well, this room is perfect, but it only has one purpose and that's for us to go right to bed. Well, good night. We'll see you in the morning when we catch that United flight back to the States. Good morning. We are off and running, ready to catch our next flight. And we learned last night while we were sleeping in this really convenient hotel that it's considered the number one airport hotel in the world. I believe it. I feel like everything about Changi is number one in the world. Singapore is an incredibly clean, safe, beautiful, really innovated country, city, state, all of the above, airport. <laughs> so convenient that the hotel is in our terminal. I see the United stands and it's actually really refreshing to see your regular airline that you typically travel on because it feels kind of like home. We're just so used to it. We know the routines, we know the protocols. We just need to show up and go. And it's been nine flights since we were on a United flight. We're all checked in and heading to the gate or heading through security to the gate. Uh, they also gave us some passes for an SATS, SATS Premier Lounge. I don't know if they even have an American Express Centurion Lounge here like we normally go to. I don't know if they have a United Lounge here, but we got access to this one. I love airport lounges because it's free coffee, which is funny because coffee's super cheap. <sighs> and it's free good Wi-Fi and free food for the kids for breakfast. I'm sad to leave the trip, but I am excited to get home, and that's what I love about semi-nomadic travel, is that you have the comfort and convenience of also going home, regrouping, doing laundry, and uh, getting back into some of a somewhat of a normal routine, especially for the kids. It's really good for them. So we get the best of both worlds. It's not the greatest food selection here, but we'll take it. Not a bad lounge. Coffee was good, that's all I care about. And now we're going to our gate, checking in. And again, this is gonna be another flight for us where we go through security at the gate. Some good news, we just got a notification from our United app that we've already been granted one upgrade to Premium Plus. Yay! So even at this point, it won't exactly be an apples to apples between Singapore and United, because for this seat in particular, it's gonna be night and day. Which goes to show that loyalty matters. We're big believers in loyalty and it pays off sometimes. Most of the time, almost all the time. This time for sure. We got another upgrade, yes! So Phil and I are gonna take that. Kids, kids not so happy about it, but they will survive their children. I'm 21E. 21E? Yeah, and you're L? 21L. Well, this is definitely much more comfortable than the seat we had on Singapore Airlines. Once again, we've got the Saks pillow, the upgraded Saks blanket, a lot more leg room, our United slippers. These, for some reason, don't seem to be color-coded like I think they were on the last flight out. Much better headphones, although I think maybe everybody gets these on these flights, honestly. And then, of course, the requisite bag of goodies here, which is gonna be the eye mask, it's gonna be the earplugs, uh, and then the color-coded purple and blue socks that are specifically for Premium Plus. And as I mentioned before, the footrests are kind of key on longer trips because just having your feet up changes the angle of your thighs on the chair and makes it much more comfortable for those long flights. Unlike yesterday's flight on Singapore, which was about three and a half hours, today's is about a 15-hour flight from Singapore to San Francisco. So we're gonna have two meals on this flight, and plenty of time to work up my way through this entire library of movies. Off we go. And since we only got about five hours of sleep last night, hopefully we can sneak a few more of those in. I'm about three movies in right now. Not a single wink of shut-eye. 
by the way, Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent with Nicolas Cage, fantastic movie. But I also wanted to show you just how much this seat reclines. So check this out. That's a good recline. Good pitch. Aaron's always working on our flights, always working on our travels. Too bad we couldn't sit together, but getting the free upgrades, I'm not gonna complain. We're a little over six hours into this flight. Eight hours, 41 minutes to go. And it's weird because we left before 9 a.m. so we'd have the entire day of daylight. But when we arrive, it's about the same time the next morning, or the same morning, actually, which is weird because of the time zones. But because we're flying against the rotation of the Earth, it's starting to get dusk time out here already, so as the sky is darker, we still have an entire night to go through because we're going to arrive in San Francisco in the morning. And we just got our light snack for the day, and that is a muffin and a little sandwich, some crackers, and a Kit Kat bar. First 14 and a half hours went by pretty quickly, and now uh, we are on our initial descent to head into San Francisco. This is a huge pet peeve of mine. While these trays are very nice, love how they come up automatically, watch when I try to cross my legs. My legs don't even fit under there, and I'm not a very big person. It's pretty unreasonable, so nobody is able to ever cross their legs. That's a big pet peeve of mine. Singapore Airlines has that on United for sure. As a conclusion, if you compare economy and first class, Singapore is going to beat you. But since we don't have as much access to Singapore Airlines in the United States, we are loyal United flyers, and so we get the upgrades, and the upgrades are key. I would say that the airplanes for Singapore Airlines are top notch. They didn't have the middle of the road premium plus cabin that United has, so it just went from business class, which looked really good, to economy in the back. But the one place where I think Singapore stood out the most for me was in the cabin crew. I think on Singapore, they were like a Michelin starred restaurant providing service. All that said, we're really grateful to be getting home after such a long trip, but our travels are never ending. So be sure to subscribe so you can follow us along on the rest of the journeys.